Hey everyone, Heyday Guides here, and today I'm bringing you the third video in the Quest for the Golden Trout Let's Play series. But before we get into that, I'm happy to announce that once again, this video is sponsored by App Nana. If you saw my last video, App Nana gave me a $20 iTunes gift card to use towards diamonds, which the leftover ones I'm using in this video. If you don't know what App Nana is, go ahead and check it out. It's a great way to get free diamonds for heyday. If you want to learn more about App Nana, go ahead and click their icon in the bottom left or click on the link in the description or at the end of the video. Now let's get into some fishing. The first part of this let's play I actually decided to speed the video up through since I caught a lot of old fish that we have already caught. Right now there's only two new fish that we can catch with the green lure that we haven't already caught before. These two fish are the brook trout and the grass carp. Both of these fish have a small circle size which is why you, s you can see that anytime I get anything besides a small circle, I go ahead and let the fish go. As you can tell, these last two fish here are pretty hard to catch. While I got a minute here, I'll go ahead and tell everyone that I'll be doing my next free diamond giveaway very soon, probably at 5,000 subscribers. So if you haven't already subscribed, uh, it's a great reason to subscribe, as well as other great videos that I put out. Also, make sure to spread this to your friends or anyone else, as the sooner we get to uh, get to 5,000 subscribers, the sooner we can do this. Probably what's going to be a pretty big free diamond giveaway. Also, if you have um, any suggestions for videos that you'd like to see, go ahead and comment down below. Or if you have any, you know, just feedback on these Let's Play videos, or just want to say anything about Heyday in general, be great to hear from you guys down in the comments. I'm going to go ahead and make some more green lures here using the uh, diamonds that App Nana uh, sponsored me with. Uh, as you can see, I'm just going back and forth between areas 2, 3, and 8 since the two fish left are only available to be caught in those areas. Um, this is kind of a good battle here. Sorry it's sped up so quick, but since it's for an old fish, I didn't want to make this video too long for you guys. But as you can see, a lot of the fish that have small circles really put up a big fight. Um, especially the more rare a fish is. So usually if you haven't caught it, um, it's more rare. Uh, I'll try to point out some of the rare ones as I go through these videos here but back to the point is they are definitely a lot harder to catch and they usually put up a lot more fight and as you've probably seen a few times there's been times where you are very close to catching a fish and all of a sudden it'll just dart out for who knows what, it's, what reason and it is a pain to try to reel that thing back in as you can see a good example of it there these fish might be easier to catch if you use the second color lure, but I want to try to go ahead and catch all the fish that I can with using a green lure instead of a purple lure or blue lure or even a gold lure in some cases. As you can see, these fish are pretty hard to catch, but if you're persistent and keep, you know, only going for like the small circles or the fishing only in the areas that you're looking for, uh, sooner or later you'll be able to catch them. As you can see, finally got the fish on the line here. We got the nice small circle, and it's definitely putting up quite a bit of a fight as we get super close, and somehow it just dashes out of there. But, you know, after a while there, we finally catch it, and we got a new fish at our collection, which is the grass carp. I'm going to speed the video up here again as I'm going for the final fish that we can catch with a green lure which would be the brook trout. The brook trout is only found in uh, area 8 so that's the reason that I'm sticking only to this area. I actually gave up trying to catch this fish in this video since I didn't want this video to run about 20 minutes or so. I haven't decided yet if I'll start off the next video with going back and trying to catch this fish or just skip it and leave it to the end with um, all the other very hard fish to catch. Let me know what you guys all think down below in the comments. Um, also, if you guys have you know, any other just questions or comments just related to Heyday or Heyday Fishing or just anything related to Heyday in general, go ahead and comment down below. 
I've gotten a few comments, uh, started to talk to some of the subscribers that I have, and from what I've heard from you guys' comments, you guys seem to like it, um, would really love some more feedback, and it's great talking to you guys and getting to know you guys, so go ahead and comment down below. From the comment and feedback I've gotten from you guys, it seems like everyone uh, likes these Let's Play fishing videos, so I'm going to go ahead and try to finish this series up, you know, hopefully within the next couple weeks and get all the fishes caught so everyone can see how to catch each one. Here's where I actually gave up going after the brook trout and decided to move on to catching some of the fish that require the blue lure. Since there's eight fish that require a blue lure or greater, like the purple or gold lure, to be caught, I'm not really going after any specific fish here. After a few failed attempts there at casting out a blue lure, I think I finally got this fish on the line, and as I fight to reel it in, looks like it's gonna almost had it, but almost got away there for a second. But as I finally reel it in, we can see it's another new fish, which is the fall fish. Gonna go ahead and speed the video up again. Um, as I continue to try to catch more fish with the blue lure, uh, we got a small circle here with a blue lure, and as you can see, uh, these fish definitely do get a lot harder to catch as they do fight quite a bit. As we got another small circle here, which again we have another nice fish that really wants to fight. So you know, sometimes it can be a pain trying to catch um, all these fish, since some of them really do put up a lot of fight. Uh, looks like we got a another fish on the line which isn't putting up much of a fight until we almost catch it of course and almost gets away there but you know just stick with it and there we go we got another caught fish which is another new fish for us which is the bluegill so we can add that one to our scrapbook too now with that successful catch let's uh, continue on with the blue lures here and drop one in this area and hopefully we can get another new fish uh, as we get on the line here we got a nice small circle uh, not putting up too much of a fight yet and as we slowly reel it in you can see we got another new fish which this time is the yellow bass I'm gonna go ahead and speed the video up here a little bit again uh, as we continue to Try to catch some more fish with the blue lures here. Um, this one's kind of an interesting battle here as we got the fish on line and as you see it almost gets away once. A uh, second time there. Uh, it's definitely a really big fighter which you know I thought it was going to be a new fish but unfortunately it's a northern stud fish which we've already caught. So on to the next area and as we cast our lure in here um, the fish that we got on the line as isn't putting up much of a fight and as we ca catch it here we got a blue spotted sunfish which is another new fish for us so we can add that fifth fish to the scrapbook now I'm gonna go ahead and speed the video up here a little bit again since uh, I catch a couple fish that I've already caught uh, we got a fish here that's putting up a bit of a fight you know, kind of fast it's another fail fish which we caught earlier but it's a different metal size as the one that we caught earlier so shows up as new and we also get a few more diamonds for catching a different metal size of the same fish the fish I have on the line right now is putting up quite a bit of fight just as we've seen with um, about four or five other northern stud fishes that I've caught earlier in this video Meaning that anytime you're using a blue or green lure and you have a fish with a medium sized circle that's putting up quite a bit of fight, um, you can probably assume it's a northern stud fish. And as you can see, we got another northern stud fish there. So hopefully that helps you out a bit to avoid catching about a thousand northern stud fishes. But onto the fish that we have on the line here. Uh, it looks like it's a medium circle and it's putting up a little bit of fight, but not too much. And as we reel it in, we got a, another new fish, which is the striped bass, which we can add to our 
collection and as we go through our scrapbook and check out all the new fish that we got and get all the diamonds for them you can see we're getting a decent way through catching all 30 different fish here looks like we're over halfway there but we do still have some pretty hard fish to catch uh, that's all there is to this let's play video make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for part four hope you guys all enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like Check out my other videos, and thanks for watching, everyone.